So you've already got your wheel, pedals, shifter, and maybe a dash display, and you're looking to take your sim racing setup to the next level. One option to consider is adding a button box, which can not only increase functionality, but also enhance your immersion, elevating your overall sim racing experience. In this video, I invite you to join me as we dive deep into this hand-built button box for PC from Sim Racing for You. This device is one of the many creations from Ariel, the owner and a passionate sim racer himself. His vision and dedication to creating high quality yet affordable solutions for racing, flight, and truck simulators have culminated into this impressive button box. Ariel kindly reached out to me and asked if I'd be interested in reviewing one of his latest creations. He graciously provided me with this unit, allowing me to share my honest thoughts and impressions after using it extensively on my sim rig. Throughout this review, we'll explore various aspects of the button box, including its build quality and design, key features, setup, as well as mounting and installation. This button box, along with Ariel's other designs, is a testament to his craftsmanship. He personally handcrafted this button box with the assistance of a skilled individual bringing his designs to life through the art of 3D printing. A quick visit to his website reveals an impressive array of button boxes, each available in various shapes, sizes, and configurations to cater to the diverse needs of sim racers. The unit I had the opportunity of testing is one of Ariel's latest creations. Priced at 179 pounds, or just under 220 US dollars, its enclosure boasts a meticulously executed rectangular design with smoothly rounded corners. The front panel features a 3D printed carbon style plate fastened with eye-catching red bolts. Surrounding each input are neon squares that come to life under black or UV light, providing enhanced visibility in dimly lit surroundings. These squares create a striking visual effect reminiscent of the lighting found in real life endurance racing cars during nighttime events. To fully appreciate this feature though, a UV light is a must have accessory. Personally, I found it to be a fantastic complement for racing in the dark or within a dimly lit room, as it aids in locating controls while maintaining an immersive ambiance. The quality of the 3D printing and the overall build of the box are commendable, making an exceptional value proposition. The casing is impressively smooth and well finished, and the carbon fiber aesthetic adds an extra layer of visual appeal. Every detail has been meticulously attended to, resulting in a product that exudes quality. The dimensions of the box are 25 centimeters in length, 13.5 centimeters in width, and a depth of 9 centimeters. It's worth noting that this is a relatively substantial unit, and its compatibility with your setup or the placement of other accessories like shifters or handbrakes may need careful consideration. In my case, I had no issues positioning it to the right of my wheel. I'll touch on mounting options a bit later. If I were to offer a minor critique from a design perspective, it would be the depth of the box. A slightly slimmer profile could be more accommodating. However, this thickness is likely necessary to house the internal controls. Overall, I'm exceedingly pleased with the design and it enhances the aesthetics of my rig. It's a piece that I would proudly put on display. Now let's delve into the impressive array of buttons and inputs that this box has to offer. At the top, you'll find a practical on-off toggle switch equipped with a vibrant red silicone boot, perfect for simulating ignition. Right next to it, you'll be greeted by a stunning metallic backlit red engine start button. As you progress down the button box, you'll discover a total of 11 16mm metallic backlit red push buttons thoughtfully distributed throughout the enclosure. Sprinkled amidst these buttons are five two-way 19mm metallic backlit rotary switches that can be turned left or right to adjust settings or perhaps navigate menus, adding an element of finesse to your control options. Towards the bottom, you'll encounter three conventional style encoders designed for making incremental adjustments, whether it's for volume control or in my case for one of the knobs fine-tuning haptic feedback as I switch between different sims. To round off this comprehensive button box, there's a handy on-off mini toggle switch in red. This switch allows you to control the backlighting of the button box independently. A notable feature is the integrated 1.8 meter USB cable, which while not detachable is neatly routed inside the box. While a rear connecting cable might have been preferred by some users, this design choice is not a major drawback in my opinion. The tactile feedback of the buttons and encoders left me thoroughly impressed. Those familiar with my reviews are aware of my appreciation for tactile and clicky buttons, and these did not disappoint. Their responsiveness made me eager to press them at any opportunity. It's safe to say that no sim racer would find a number of inputs lacking here, and if the layout and design doesn't suit your preferences, you can always explore sim racing for use diverse range of other button box designs. 
The addition of backlighting is executed with finesse, providing a bright and visually appealing experience. However, it's worth noting that there's no option to adjust the brightness of the LEDs, which may be a minor consideration for some users. Personally, I found the brightness level to be satisfactory. It's important to mention that the base price does not include labels or stickers. However, you have the option to purchase labels separately with standard black labels available for an additional nine pounds or opt for neon labels at 15 pounds, which come to life under UV light. Mounting this box to your rig is a straightforward process. Thanks to the standard 75 by 75 Visa style design, the box comes equipped with pre-made holes fitted with rib nuts, making it easy to secure using the four included bolts and the provided Allen key. This setup ensures compatibility with a wide range of chassis manufacturers button box mounts or any mount that aligns with the same Visa pattern, as with the case with my ASR button box mount. Once the box was securely mounted, it's a seamless plug and play experience from there. No additional drivers are needed and your PC should readily recognize the box as a game controller. This recognition allows you to easily map inputs from popular sim titles. I personally tested it with iRacing, Assetto Corsa, ACC, and Automobilista 2, but it's compatible with virtually any other sim title out there. However, it's important to note that this particular model is designed for PC compatibility only. Unfortunately, it does not offer console support. Nevertheless, it's worth mentioning that Sim Racing for You does provide console support for PlayStation on some of their other models. In conclusion, my experience with this button box from Sim Racing for You left me genuinely impressed. It manages to pack an array of impressive features into a well-crafted enclosure. While it may not have the excessive build quality of some of the pricier alternatives on the market, it undeniably offers outstanding value, elevating both the functionality and immersion of your sim racing setup. I wholeheartedly recommend this product, especially for those seeking a substantial upgrade without breaking the bank. It serves as a testament to what can be achieved when passionate sim racers roll up their sleeves and deliver high quality feature rich products to enrich the community's experience. If you're considering adding this button box to your setup, you'll find a convenient link below to Sim Racing for You's website for further information and purchase options. Thank you for joining me for this review. As always, if you enjoyed the video or found it helpful, do me a favor and hit the thumbs up. It certainly helps recommend my content and grow the channel. If you've not already subscribed to the channel while you're down there, why not hit the subscribe button and the bell to be notified when I upload a new video. If you have any questions or feedback for me, don't hesitate to leave a comment below. Until the next one, stay safe and enjoy your racing.